Hey guys, so today's video I wanted to do something different. We're not going to do hair, we're going to do makeup. So I'm going to do a very simple look. It's just going to be a light eye and just a very natural face. So let's go ahead and get started. So before I do my makeup routine, I always put on some lip oil. This is by Wander Beauty. I love it. I also wear this at night. And now I'm just filling in my eyebrows. So to fill my eyebrows, I trace the top and the bottom of my eyebrow and then I just kind of fill it in with little strokes so this is the hourglass eyebrow pencil in ash and my eyebrows are very light so this color is seriously perfect it matches so well so your eyebrows they should not be twins they should be sisters or you know sometimes they might be cousins that's okay too so my other eyebrow, which I'm not going to show you on camera, is my trouble eyebrow. I have the hardest time with it just because it's a mess, but we make it work. So here we go. Final reveal, sisters. <laughs> so now I'm just putting some concealer on my lids before I use eyeshadow. And this is just going to cover up all my veins and give us a nice blank slate. So now I'm using this palette from Wander Beauty. It's called the Wondrous Escape Palette. It's one of my favorite, and I'm going in with this nude beach shade. And I'm just gonna place this all over my lid, but I'm also gonna bring it up into the crease. So I'm just doing circular motions, windshield wiper motions, just going back and forth. Then I'm gonna go in with Sun Kissed and mainly focus that um, just, again, all over the lid and also in the crease. Making sure everything is nice and blended. We don't want any splotchiness, so just blend, blend, blend. Now I'm taking my favorite shade in the palette, which is Daydream, and I'm just wetting my brush, which I showed off camera, and dipping it in, and just placing it all over my lid. Um, so just tapping it in, making sure it's nice and evenly covered. But seriously, look at that face I'm making. What is that? <laughs> so now I'm taking the shade Overnight, which is a dark brown, and I'm putting it on my eyelid, um, just kind of where you would put eyeliner and just kind of stamping it on there, blending it. And then I'm taking it from the corner, kind of going towards my temple and just blending it, um, making it kind of messy. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's eyeshadow. If you mess up, it's an easy fix. That's why I love using eyeshadow as eyeliner. You could also use tape to give you that nice sharp line. Now my favorite primer, Benefit Professional. I've been using this for years. I use it in my T-zone, I use it under my eyes, on my nose, and it just fills everything in and makes you look airbrushed. Now I'm using that same concealer that we used on our lids from earlier, just placing it uh, right underneath my eyes. And then I'm gonna kinda sharpen up my wings a little bit. So I like to use concealer for that. You could also use a uh, washcloth or um, baby wipe, whatever you have. And then I'm just gonna blend it out with my sponge. And now I'm going to curl my eyelashes before I put on mascara. The mascara I'm using today is the Wander Beauty Mile High Club. So this mascara is a very natural looking mascara. If you want something more intense, I love the Lancome Monsieur Big. Been using it for years. It makes you look like you have false lashes on. If I were going for a heavier look, this would be my go-to, the Wander Beauty Foundation and the It Cosmetic CC Cream. But instead, I'm going to use the other side of my concealer stick from earlier. And this is just for blemishes, and I'm just going to go around and kind of get rid of get rid of redness and any pimples and whatnot. Then I'm just going to blend it in with that sponge that I used earlier as well. Then for bronzer and blush, I'm going in with the Too Faced Natural Face Palette, and I'm taking that bronzer and just kind of going in the hollows of my cheeks, uh, dipping it in a couple times, and then just kind of going over my forehead, the sides of my nose, and then I'm also going to take that along the sides of my jaw as well. This is definitely a warm tone bronzer. So then I like to mix the two blush shades and then I tap it off, get rid of any excess powder. And I like to just put it right where I put my bronzer and a little bit higher. We want our makeup to go up, not down. That's why I don't apply it on the apples of my cheeks. Only certain face shapes can pull off the apples of the cheeks. So I also do it on my nose a little bit. And then I go with the Senna Cosmetics Golden Hour Highlighter. Been using this forever. It's very natural. It gives you a beautiful glow. I just place this on the high points of my cheeks and then also a little bit above my lip. Then I'm gonna go in with the NYX Cosmetics Liner in Natural. This is my go-to shade. So I just line my lips. I don't overline them or anything. So I like to take that liner too and then just fill in my lips as well. That way when my lip gloss rubs off, I still have some color. So the lip gloss I'm using is by ColourPop Cosmetics. It's in the shade Attention Haul. It's a beautiful, creamy, gorgeous nude. I love this combo. 
And then that is it. This is what it looks like. You can use setting spray to set it if you want. Keep in mind, I am not a Jaclyn Hill. I am not a James Charles. This is just my go-to light makeup look that I like to do. So I hope you guys liked it. So that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you liked this video and found it helpful. I will link everything that I can find down in my description box. Let me know what other kind of videos you want to see. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And we will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Bye. Oh, there we go. Bye. Good job. <laughs>